In this screencast, we're going to look out at how to embed video into Moodle. Um, if you go to a video source online, places like YouTube or Yahoo Video or TeacherTube, um, even areas like Wall Street Journal and New York Times that play videos, um, they have give you the option to either link to the video with a URL or an embed code where you can actually embed the video so it'll play in your source. So one of the things we want to do is sh in this video is show how to do that. One of the first things you're going to need to do is you're going to need to turn editing on in your course. Once you have editing on, there's a couple ways to do it. We can either insert a label or we can compose a web page. I'm going to show you how insert a label works because that actually embeds the video onto the interface. Okay. Um, you see here that we're in the screen now for insert a label. Okay. Now, one of the things you need to do is you need to get a video's embed code. So what I've done is I've already um, called up YouTube. Okay, and I'll show you here inside YouTube. This is how it would work. You would come over here to the right hand side of the video and you see the area that says embed. You would highlight that and copy it. And it's going to be a long um, HTML coding sequence. So don't be surprised when it looks nice and huge here in a minute. Now we come back into Moodle. So once you're back inside Moodle, inside the screen, if you come over here to the right hand side of your WYSIWYG, you'll see these uh, double carrots, kind of like the greater than, less than sign. Go ahead and click on that. That should gray out the rest of your tools. And then go ahead and paste in, because we just copied the embed code, so go ahead and paste in the embed code. Now go ahead and click those back. And you'll see now in this window, you'll see the video has embedded in there. Now, if you want to adjust the size of the video, come all the way over here to the right of your WYSIWYG and click on this arrow inside the double box. That's going to give you a large screen that pops out. And that large screen is going to give you the ability to uh, adjust the size of your video. Okay, so click on the border of the video. Here. Take the little box in the corner, uh, left click on it with your mouse, and then just drag it up. And you'll see that shrunk the size a bit. If you want to leave it the large, great, you can, it's up to you. Uh, I just like to adjust the size, make it a little bit smaller. And then you can close out of this screen. Once you've closed out, it'll bring you back uh, into your insert a label page. You'll see that the video is in there and that the size has been adjusted. We'll scroll down to the bottom of the page. And at the bottom of the page, we will update and save the change. So save and return to course. You'll see now once you return back to your course, and if you scroll down, right there in the interface is the video. And just by clicking on the play button, it will play right there in your course for your students to see. Now, with editing on, we could do the exact same thing by composing a web page. So under add a resource, let's do compose a web page. And it's once you do this, it's the exact same step. Um, you would go in, provide the name. You would go down, if you want to give it a summary, you can. You would go down into the full text area, and you would click on the double carriage, greater than, less than. You would paste in your embed code. Click on those again, or click on the double carriage again. And you'll see now that the video has embed here. Now, one of the things that's nice about this is that we can set it to pop up in its own window by coming in underneath the image in the section called window and putting it on new window. And leaving these controls on allow the students to manipulate the bar and the size of the image for their screen. And then we scroll down to the bottom, hit save and return to course. And once your screen refreshes, is that you'll see you've now inserted this web page link video. And when I click on it, it'll give me a pop-up screen of the video for the students to see. Now it's in a pop-up screen that's completely separate for the students to see and then they can control it as they like. 